shoelaces, and colors. Lots of colors. How else are you going to design a sneaker that's perfectly you without lots of choices? No, you don't have to be an artist or a designer to fit in here at the Surgeon Academy. You just have to be willing to throw on some safety glasses. I noticed you're standing back. Are you scared for some reason? I'm Rachel Holt, and for today's unique adventure, we're on Fulton Street in the Seaport, getting to the heart and soul of what makes this creative oasis a step above the rest. A place that allows you to think creatively and test your skills as a designer. Deconstruct, reconstruct, and then rock sneakers, apparel, hats, you name it. All your own unique creation. We're here at your Surgeon Academy location here in the Seaport. How long have you been here for? Well, we've been here for a couple of years, and recently we've opened up and become a retail store in addition to the workshops. What's the story behind this business? How did it get its start? You can't talk about the Surgeon Academy without talking about the surgeon himself, uh, Dominic Giambroni. Uh, like a lot of people, had a passion for sneakers, uh, but he took it to the next level. Uh, he became an apprentice for a boot maker uh, and learned kind of an old school technique uh, to make shoes, and he used that and developed it to make kind of newer shoes. This is such an elevated design process. What are some of those unique things that people can do? Oh, very popular this season uh, has been the bedazzle, like gem rhinestones. Uh, so people go around the swoosh with that. You're it's speaking very my language logo. here, bedazzle. Love it, love it, of course. <laughs> uh, we do a lot of different lacing systems, uh, and that is, again, uh, just kind of scratching the surface, uh, splatter box. And you were telling me about a proposal that happened with these sneakers. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, very common. We do a lot of uh, couples, we do a lot of date night. And recently we did, uh, we were lucky enough to have somebody propose. Uh, so we made a special shoe for him with Will You Marry Me written on it. She said yes. I was, yeah, I was hoping <laughs> yes. that was the answer. Yeah. It seems to be a place where you can really hone your creativity. Yes, I do love uh, when people come in, usually the first sentence they say is, I'm not an artist, you know? And then it's like, well, what, do you have a favorite color and what do you like to wear? And it's like, well, I like to wear this, but sometimes, you know, and I can see them rev up and get excited. All right, well, mm -hmm. I think we're almost ready for me to start customizing this. Any tips for me? What do I need to know? You know, I think just, just think outside the line. Just let it go. I think let the art, artistic creativity flow. All right, let's yes. go. I have my apron on and my sneakers. I'm feeling like an artiste already. What's the first step here? <laughs> Nailed it. First step is we have to get off this factory coating. And obviously we're doing sneakers here today, but mm -hmm. what are some other things that you can customize? Yep. Bags, purses, jackets, uh, anything that's made out of leather is really good. Now that these are prepped, what's the next step? Well, now is the fun part. Uh, so it looks like we will start designing our shoe. We have plenty of stencils. We have alphabet <laughs> stencils. We, we have like drip stencils. stencils. Oh, this takes a lot of concentration. It does. does everybody think it's going to be easy? Oh, boy. These pens are from a heat, or made out of a special heat soluble ink, so it can just disappear. We could probably use that erasing tool that you have yeah. here. So I'm just going to use this heat gun. Oh, and yeah. it goes right off. But back at it. We're back Just at like it. that. I think we have a substantial improvement from our first tries. I think it's not perfect, but we got a little better. All right, so now that we have our stencil, we are going to paint it in. Does that erasing tool work for the paint, too? It does not. <laughs> no, but you'll be happy it doesn't on a rainy day. And this is obviously the rushed version here. Yes. Um, feeling like they could use a little pop of color. We can take advantage of our lovely lace selection. Is this the part where we fast forward and it's just done? I'm feeling pretty good about these. Me too, but I feel like they could still use a little something. So this is the splash zone. What do we need to know about this area? Yes. Well, first and foremost, <laughs> gonna need some glasses. The paint does go everywhere, but that's what we want. Some very trendy safety goggles here. I've never felt cooler. There's no wrong way to do it. And what I love about the splatter is it always comes out fantastic. Okay, we're gonna see what happens. I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> I noticed you're standing box. back. Are you yeah, scared for course. some reason? Well, I'm definitely in the splash zone. All right, the big reveal. Are we ready for it? Looking good. Kind of an abstract sneaker design situation mm -hmm. going on here. Jackson Pollock-esque, very nice. That was a lot of fun. And for more on how you can design your own sneakers at Surgeon Academy and for other places to visit in the Tri-State area, head to our website, cbsnewyork.com.